How's it going guys? Welcome back for an all new video. If you're new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. I try to post once a week and I do live streams every so often. To start, you guys may have noticed that I haven't really been doing the weekly live streams. I didn't get a super good amount of people that were giving me feedback regarding live streams. Some nights we had a lot of people join, some nights we didn't really have anybody join. So I think I'm gonna move it over to maybe once a month at the end of the month, so look out for the end of June for a new live stream. One more thing before we start this video as well. If you like this shirt, I have a bunch of other shirts online, www.coloredandlight.com. I am shutting down the store. It was kind of a beta test sort of thing for what I have planned for like coming up. Everything still supports the 2.5 build on the NC Miata. So it's your last chance to get one of these shirts. Um, so go check it out. I lowered prices on everything. If you use the code IDRIVER, you will get a discount. Let's, let's get some orders in, let's support the 2.5 build, and I won't bug you about it anymore until I have a new, um, new initiative, I guess. So on today's install video, luckily we don't have to be out in this hot garage. If you see the title, I got a custom shift boot and e-brake boot from Redline Goods. Redline Goods is a place where you can get NC Miata brand, or spe NC Miata specific products any color you want, uh, steering wheels and shift boots, things like that. So go check them out if you want one of those. So ever since I got this new steering wheel with the silver or gray uh, threading, I wanted to keep that theme going. And I got this, this is the shift boot with the silver stitching. It is real leather, it smells so good. And also the e-brake boot right here. So basically these just replace your stock stuff, it should work perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna take out the center console. You guys don't have to see that since you've already seen me do it a million times. I'm gonna take out the center console and then luckily we get to go inside and install these. Went ahead and removed the center console um, and I brought the stock e-brake boot in. Um, you can tell it's just all black and there's a big difference in quality from the custom made stuff and this one. So excited to do these. Basically, in this kit that you get is just the pieces of leather with everything marked for where it needs to go. On your stock stuff, you have these plastic frames that you will need to reuse. They're kind of just held together um, by screws, and we're gonna, gonna do this and we're gonna figure it out. I'd done this previously on my Kia, so I kind of have a little bit of experience on how this works, but um, let's start with the uh, e-brake boot and we'll just uh, go from there. So what we're going to do first is we are going to take apart this frame which currently is held in with these two little screws. Something that you definitely want to remember is to do not forget the orientation of these. Um, and it looks like there's a plastic, it feels like there's a plastic frame on the inside and the bottom one is here. So I'm guessing that these little tabs come off like this. This might be really easy. All right, so here's the bottom frame. And then we can go ahead and take the shift boot, pop it off these tabs. I think I kind of see how this works now. So now looking at the two shift boots, there's a hole on each end. You can kind of see it right there. There's little holes on each end. Those go around um, the frame on the hole parts right here where the screws go. So just kind of looking at it, I think this is the right way right here. So now we're going to take our shift boot. So each little slot that's pre-made on the shift boot has a place on the frame, which is really nice. It makes it kind of idiot proof if you just take apart the old one first. This leather's like, it's not tough, but it definitely holds its shape better than the stock one. So you'll have to kind of move it around just a little bit to get it to sit right. 
But that looks pretty good right there. So now I just need to get the screw holes in place. There's the second one, like so. Fold that guy in there. So just make sure all of your tabs are in the leather. And then we should be able to put this guy right back on. Just kind of work my way around, I guess. And I'll go ahead and just put the screws back in. Alright, and looking at it, everything seems like it's where it's supposed to be. So there is our new shift boot on the frame. And that was really, really easy. So that should sit on there like so. So you'll be able to see the little quilted part facing you. Um, and yeah, it looks a lot better than the stock one, which is kind of shiny and almost like rubbery this is definitely real leather it smells really nice and uh, so now we can move on to the uh, shifter boot so when you flip your center console over you will see that there are four screws that hold the frame of the shift boot in you'll just want to take those all out once your screws are out this should come right off the top like so now we can set that aside. It looks like there are little slots on these on where it can only fit one way. So we shouldn't have to worry too much, but you always want to be sure. So now you can see there's this bottom frame here. This is what shows on the top and it just kind of pops off like that. And this also matches this frame. So you won't have to worry about that there. It's just got little tabs all around the edges. So I'm just going to pop those all off like so set that off to the side and then one other thing you need to do with the shift boot is there's this little ring inside and it's glued in so you will need some glue for this but you just kind of pull these apart this last one's kind of annoying All right, so now the little ring is off of this. You can set it aside. So with this, you'll want to take your new one. You're gonna fold it inside out. And then you will take your little ring, kind of look at how it was glued on. And this has little spots as well onto where you can glue it on. So take this and we're just gonna slide it over the top. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of glue all of these into place and this is gonna be kind of hard since the leather is a lot thicker. All right, well it's not the prettiest job in the world but the top is all glued on. So now what you can do is flip it back inside out and you should have a nice like rounded top. All right, so now that it's flipped back inside out you can see that the top has a little slot for your shift boot. And it's not perfect but it's okay, you won't really notice like any of these creases once you get everything back together. So now what we can do is take our um, frame and just like we did with the e-brake, take the little tabs and just put it in all of the pre-made slots. All right, so all along the edges, my tabs are in their slots. Except for that guy, now he is. So we should be good to go. They do include some extra ones, so just make sure you kind of have it exactly how you want it. Um, and I think mine is good. Use like a little flat head to make sure it's it is centered, which is kind of kind of helps. go that's much better it's 
So now you can see from the top, it is back on there. And that looks really good, nice with the silver little ring with the silver stitching. I think that looks really cool. Um, so now we can go ahead and stick it back in this. So by doing that, you wanna flip it over, make sure that your little tabs align properly. go ahead and flip this over kind of look at your work I think this looks really good um, just so you guys can see the shift boot in or the e-brake boot in there as well so here's kind of what we're working with I think that looks a lot lot better than the stock um, leather and everything is gonna fit nicely that's a really nice thing about this kit is it's made to fit your car as long as you use the frames so uh, now we're gonna go put this back in the car and I'll show you the final result. All right, and we are all back together and I have to say it looks so good. I am super happy. It doesn't match perfectly, but it's a lot better than just all black, dirty black, fake leather. Um, I think that the interior, this really wraps it up. Um, obviously seats would be the next thing to do. Um, the seats also kind of have a silver stitching, so it does match a little bit. These look great. I'm super excited about how they turned out. I think I might want to get a new shift knob to kind of make it look, you know, not so shiny black on the top since it's kind of like a dull muted black for the leather. Um, but let me know what you guys think about the Redline Goods shift boot and e-brake boot. I think it looks awesome. It all fit back together so nicely. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this little easy install. Um, as I said, this is from Redline Goods. So if you comment below asking where I got it from, Redline Goods. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember, I'm closing the shirt shop, coloredandlight.com. So go pick yourself up a shirt. You'll get a big discount right now. Everything is pretty cheap. So go check it out. Put your orders in. I'm probably probably going to close it out at the end of the month. Um, as I work on this new kind of colored and light all around site where there's going to be blogs, uh, in-depth in how-tos, things like that. So keep an eye out for that towards uh, middle of summer. So I'll, I'll be sure to be working on that as well. Be sure to keep tuned in. Leave your comments, leave your likes. I'll see you guys in the next video.